Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am about to do a holiday inspired look using the Sweetest Set brush set by e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I'm gonna try to use as many brushes from this as I can. So it's gonna be like a demo as well as the makeup tutorial. So um, I'm very excited. I got this as a Christmas present. Um, I checked on the e.l.f. website and I was not able to find um, this set but you can find on Amazon and other retailers as well um, this retails between 20 and 28 dollars and you get 10 pieces for the face and the eyes so in the set you get a retractable kabuki which I'm very excited about you can use this to travel then you have this contouring kabuki it is slightly angled as you can probably see right here and it is cute it covers a lot of space on the face perfect for all over then you have the powder brush the powder brushes are really really good and they are very cheap if you buy them individually but as the set i think you would get the best deal it is best for applying powder this is the eyeshadow duo brush it has a spoolie over here and then the angled side which would be perfect for shaping the brows applying concealer underneath the brow just any of those to make it more sharp, more defined. You have the sculpting face brush. This is sculpting for the cheekbones, um, to define the nose. Then we have the blending brush, which is perfect for the crease on the lid. You can also use this to apply concealer beneath the eye if you want to. But we'll see how it applies the makeup shortly. I think I'm mostly excited about the small stipple brush because you can apply your foundation, for a natural airbrush finish. You have the highlighting brush, and this one, of course, you can apply your highlighter on your cheekbones, on the high points of your face, the brow bones, and everywhere. So this, I could easily see myself using it for contour as well as highlight. I love the shape of this one. It reminds me of the um, one by Sigma. I have it somewhere here. So it, it has that similar shape going upwards. This is the concealer brush and then you can just use it to conceal to even put shadow if you want to. And then finally we have the eyeshadow brush which is specifically for the eyeshadow. It's a little bit bigger and of course you can blend your shadows with it and this one should be pretty good. That is overall what the sweetest set by e.l.f. Cosmetics is like. So we will see how the brushes perform on the face. I'm gonna use the Professional, the Matte Rescue by Benefit. I've been loving this one again. I had it just sitting there and suddenly I am back on that boat. I have an idea of what I wanna do for the look. Like everybody's doing red and green. I kinda wanna go against the grain a little bit and do something different so I pretty much already know what it is that I want to do we shall see I am gonna use the stippling brush I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation I've not used this in a minute I still have so much product in here this is like everlasting this one of course is full coverage 24 hour wear and it is a matte finish I've used this in the past I'm gonna go in with a sponge, take off the excess water from there so we don't remove all our foundation, you know. And I'm gonna go over all the face and just kind of remove the excess because the sponge really takes away any excess and evens it out nicely. This is the C4. Dot 35 by Morphe. I've used this countless times in the past. I am going underneath the areas I want to highlight, conceal, and all the good stuff. Like some people, some of my subscribers are asking me if I uploaded recently, and I'm like, yes, I did. But that's it for a minute. I'm going to use a very bright lipstick today because I miss colors. I've been trying to do the whole nude vibe. And while it's nice and cute and subtle, I miss color. So does the background, my lip is gonna be similar to the background and it's gonna be a vibe on my brows and my eyes. So I'm looking. 
week and I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna use this highlighting brush to dust away the setting powder underneath and my forehead because I don't need it. The brushes are very soft. I mean, if you've used elf brushes, that's basically how this one is. I am going to leave the excess powder over here. This is the eyeshadow primer potion in original from Urban Decay. So I'm using the eyeshadow or the concealer brush to apply the primer potion. I'm going to use a transition shade from the Morphe 350M palette just to transition lightly. I do not need much. So I'm just going in, working my way in the crease. This is just one of the brownish colors. And I'm just making sure that we are nice and coated in the crease. Going in with this brown and this bricky orange right here. Sorry guys, I'm gonna take this out. I'm not feeling it. This is not what I had in mind. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D fetish and use that silver that I've been actually dying to use. So this is what this is the plan B, y'all. Plan B is we're going in with silver. And it's going to look just as good. <laughs> so I got this inspo um, on Instagram. I'm going to go in with a little setting spray on that. Yeah. I'm using this NYX Professional Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. That is a mouthful, but this is what I'm using in the lower lash line. I will go a little heavy below, a little lower than my own lash line. So this is supposed to stay on pretty long. I'm gonna go in with the smudge, the smudger from my Sephora liner and smudge that. I am gonna take a very defined brush and go below, just below that with some blue. This obsession right here and just smoke it out even further. Just a little bit. Just right below. So I'm gonna go right below it. And kind of bring that up to define that wing. Yeah, so I am kind of like going, shaping the silver. Go back in the silver to redefine it. I'm using the same highlighting brush from e.l.f. and I'm gonna go in with the Brick House by Black Radiance on my cheeks. I'm 
and I go in with the Kabuki. I'm trying to use only the oil brushes, y'all, but it's so hard. I will go in with the contour, the sculpting brush, and then I will go in with my Anastasia, and then go right here. Oh yeah, I like that. I do like the sculpting brush, y'all. It sits right underneath my cheekbone. I like that a lot. And sculpting the nose. It's pretty good with it too. Huh. It makes it way easier than those other brushes I use. I'm using the brow pomade in deep brown to sculpt this baby up. I have this other eyeliner brush by e.l.f. I'm going to use it to sculpt the brows. It is from a different collection as you can see. Some of the brushes I'm using them over, but I'm, I am wiping with a makeup wipe, you don't see that. Because you don't want to get other colors <laughs> on the eye, y'all. Just bring it down and then I use the other brush to kind of smooth it in. Once I like what's going on on my eyes, I use the Anastasia Brow Gel to brush the hairs in place. I'm gonna use the double up. These are the Demi Wispy, double Demi Wispy, so it's very feathered. If you're questioning where I'm going with this look, once the lashes are on, it's a game changer. Okay, so for the lashes, we are just gonna go in into my mirror. Can I just lay it down right here? For the lips, I'm going to go in with Homecoming by Morphe, and it's a vibrant, beautiful pink. I'm using the Illuminating Powder by Wet n Wild. This is an awesome blossom. I use it all the time. I did not even really need highlight, but... We will still add some. Why not? It is the holidays. I'm back. I'm gonna add some lower lash mascara and then I should be all done with the look. So we will add our primer by, you already know, Lancome. And then I will add the Hypnose Drama. I think I need some setting spray. It was quite a journey to this final look, but I do like it so much. I am ready to go to like the New Year's party looking like this. Thank you so much for watching and of course continuing to support my channel. Um, if I do not post any videos before the new year, I want to wish you guys a happy new year and hope you guys do something fun for the holidays, spend time with family and friends, and just have a great time. And I'm wishing you all the best for 2020. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mwah!